Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you how to send email <coughs> uh, using MIME kit and uh, mail kit. So first of all download and you know that uh, where I uh, where we where you need uh, emails and sending the mails like uh, you have uh, a shopping cart uh, shopping cart website and uh, just I want to uh, just uh, you want to send email when a user logged in or uh, when a user uh, authenticated sorry authorized so just uh, you can see that in the register.css email we have a send email options but the, your uh, email is not configured so uh, in this video i'm going to show you how to configure your email using mime kit and mail kit so uh, just right click on your project name and add uh, mail kit First of all, add a mail kit. Uh, that's uh, simple. On your mail kit, uh, a new kit package will show. Okay, so just install the latest version that is 3.1.1 according to your need. And the second one is the MIME kit. MIME kit is also a uh, nice message uh, NuGet package where we have a messages like a to from sad message for uh, Okay, <coughs> and uh, mail kit uh, have a connect method, SMTP client method, and and lots of things. So first of all, add uh, mail uh, MIME message address so just create a email to send so just correct it first of all email in the camel notations so email to send and new mime MIME messages okay and email to send that is dot from dot uh, add that is mailbox address dot parse where your uh, from address you can pass it here your email ID and the next thing is to add the two address so email to send dot two dot address that is add mailbox address dot parse and your email like that where your uh, local parameter is there email dot send dot subject and also subject in the local parameter and the next thing is to body content so email dot email send email to send dot body equals to new text part mime kit dot text doc text format and the text format is HTML and you can say text equals to HTML message <coughs> okay so that's the body content you have and the next part is to create a SMTP client so using resource in the resource you can say uh, variable smtp client and email client you can say email client equals to new smtp client okay and just i want to say a email client have some methods like connect 
and in the connect method we have a host name a port number and the security options that is uh, SSL uh, like TLS <coughs> so email client dot connect and the next thing is to provide the host name that is the SMTP dot gmail dot com and the port number is 587 that is default port number and the next thing is the security options to provide it in by using the mail kit so you can use mail kit dot security dot uh, secure secure socket options dot start TLS and after that uh, you have to say that send message authenticate just before it so email client dot authenticate in which you can pass uh, user id and the password of your email address okay so just you can pass it here your user id and your password okay that's fine and the next thing is to uh, send the messages so email dot email client dot send okay that's fine after that So now after that you have to say that send email to send and email client dot disconnected client and after that your work is completed so just return task dot completed and you you notice that your uh, mail are configured and only one thing to set in your account in your gmail id where your form address is there to set the ssl security so gmail provide the less secure app so if you want to set the messages from the third party uh, websites and the apps so just on your uh, account less secure app so in the um, account tab you can notice that your security we have the less secure app if you don't find it in it in, inside your account so just navigate uh, first of all less secure app and uh, browse it and google it also you can say just write in the google that is last secure app and in your url also okay so just turn on last secure app just type last secure app and if here you notice that thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to usp.net core